that's the lump again? So that is the lump of the size of my cancer lah. That's right. Okay. okay. Hey guys, what's up? Today is the 4th of May and I'm just left with another 4 bodies counting down to my major surgery. So here's a little update. There has been a slight of change in my surgical procedure. My surgeon called me up last few days uh, to do some emergency meeting. By right, I'm supposed to have my last appointment on the 27th of April. And I shouldn't have any appointment. But he called me saying that he need to see me urgently because there's some good news and some bad news. So let's touch on some bad news. Well, I think it's not really that bad news, but that's what the doctor, doctor told me. Lah. So I'll share with you guys. My surgical procedure has been a change. I'm not sure whether you guys can see this. Okay, doctor has drew me the diagram. So this is my liver. Okay, you can see the sickle part here. This is where my cancer is right now. All right. So my doc, my doctor's uh, original plan was just to cut this piece of my liver, a stone size piece, away. But due to the cancer location which is very near my blood vessels my main blood vessels line here he's scared that during the surgery uh, keyhole surgery it might rupture into my main blood vessels and i will and it will cause a lot of blood loss so what he's suggesting nick is to cut one quarter of my liver this whole piece here to be cut off so how am I to say yeah it's about he says that 25% need to be cut off to avoid uh, being to, to avoid uh, hitting the, the main blood vessels line and the good news is healthy liver functions is at 15% so my liver is ready at 11% so that's quite a good range the other part is that when they have cut off this 25% which is one quarter of my liver my liver will be able to grow back but it won't grow back at the size of 100% lah, my original size so meaning to say it will grow back at about this portion yeah it's still a good news to me, still good news. But doctors say when they want to cut off that uh, original size, the stone size, I'm prone for a liver failure at a percentage of like 0.5%. But since they will be cutting off this big portion of my liver, the risk of me getting a liver failure uh, rose up up till about 1% to 2% it's still quite a good range so I did ask the surgeon in regards about after surgery thanks God I mean sorry thanks to God that I no need to do any chemotherapy after this but I will just need to come back and check again just to be sure hmm what else oh yes another good news is I'm clear from hepatitis C I'm so grateful about that the medication that I took which was so costly one box cost me SGD $13,960 one box for one full month ration every day I have to took up two box solid two months so we don't talk about that price anymore it's quite stressful very stressful for that amount of money that I have to pay yeah 
overall, my hepatitis C is gone. So, meaning to say, it's a very, very good news to me and my family. Which means, after my surgery, after I recover, me and my wife would be able to proceed on with our IVF. So, I'm very, very happy to hear that. I'm very nervous actually for this major surgery. I'm so nervous. I don't know what else I'm going to feel or whatever I'm going to say. But to cut this video short, first of all, I would like to thank all of my friends, Team Holland, SKC. Thank you guys for doing this emergency funds behind my back to raise some money to support me financially. Uh, who else? My schoolmates from St. Patrick's, my team members and colleagues from Rigmart. Also, they all did some fundraising for me. And also, my younger brother, boss, Sam, from Arena Detailing. Thank you so much for the contribution. And to the rest of all my friends who have been there, supporting, praying, contributing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I didn't ask for it, but out of your goodwill for this cause, I pray to the Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, for rewarding you guys for this effort in supporting me financially i know it's been a tough I, I i mean i know it's been it's gonna be a tough on me but without you guys i won't be able to really push forward Wow, my first time shedding tears, I don't know how long. I just hope everything will be good, everything will be well. Thank you so much guys for supporting me. For the non-stop prayers, all my Muslim brothers and all my non-Muslim brothers, colleagues, friends, everyone, everyone, thank you so much, thank you so much. There's no way that I can repay your kindness. You guys know who you are. All of you will always be in my prayers. I'm just so touched for, for all this shock and all yeah no words can really explain how am i feeling right now but i think this could be my last video for before i go surgery so last but not least i hope that i will put through but if I don't pull through to all my family, my friends, and everyone that who knew me inside out. I really, really, really would like to seek forgiveness if if I didn't make it. If any of I ever take any loans from you guys which I didn't manage to settle it out please do approach my wife for any claims other than that I love you guys I'll see you guys next time. Peace out guys.
Thank you everyone.